Argentinas have been seen as uh, the beacon, so to speak, of the, of the LGBTI movement in Latin America, along with the Brazilian movement. But unfortunately, um, has hate crimes still happen there. And, um, and this is something um, that actually, um, you know, we need to take into account with the mainstream human rights organizations and the LGBTI organizations. Because even in those countries that where we have the laws, society still is behind. So we really need to work um, with the society at large in order to advance LGBTI rights. The other problem I think we, I would like to highlight in the Americas is that unfortunately, and, you, and, and I'm glad that you mentioned that, is the fact that um, Buenos Aires is not Argentina, or Sao Paulo is not Brazil, or Rio de Janeiro is not Brazil. So I'm pretty sure what is happening in the countryside, if you're an LGBT person in Salta, especially you know Salta, or, or Neuquén, uh, um, probably is very different, you know, like for the LGBTI activists or people, couples living living in the countryside. And so I'm glad to see this initiative from the Gobierno de Buenos Aires. Because the Buenos Aires, I think, is very important. But hopefully, the other other uh, provinces will follow will follow these steps. Um, so what, what do we have to offer? And I'm not going to talk about what global, right, global rights does, because it's not, it's not about global rights. But um, I think we need to, we need to um, document human rights violations more. And I think what you guys are doing, I think, is great to come forward. But also, like, uh, we need to uh, encourage the LGBTI groups and activists to document human rights violations. Um, why? Because then we need to change policies. And, and often, you know, the excuse of the government is like, well, we don't have um, we don't have that many cases. Uh, oh yeah, it's like it's, it's an it was an isolated incident, but I'm pretty sure um, there are many cases that are un, are they're not reported. So if they were reported, then you know we can do something about it. The other aspect I would like to to highlight is the legal protection of activists and and people who have victims of, of violence. Uh, a lot of times they don't they don't report because um, they, they feel uh, intimidated by the police, or they don't know how to do it. So I think it's important sometimes to accompany, offer accompaniment to, to victims of violence um, or hate crimes um, in, in, in those countries. The other thing that I would like to, to mention is uh, that we need to engage the, main, the mainstream human rights organizations working on LGBT issues. And this is what we have been doing in Colombia, in Peru, in Brazil. Why? Because there are already well-established NGOs in our countries that are working on, on, on human rights in general. So it's time for them to start working on LGBTI rights. I mean, LGBTI rights are human rights. And it sounds like a cliche, but a lot of NGOs in Latin America, in the English-speaking Caribbean, is clear. They don't consider LGBTI rights as human rights. So we need to engage them, because they already have um, some of them the credibility, and I just want to like, I would like to mention a, a very brief example. In Peru, there is the Coordinadora Nacional de Derechos Humanos, the main umbrella network of, of organizations working on human rights, and it's. Um, I hope that isn't there, there isn't a Catholic person here, but it's the Catholic <laughs> Church uh, have um, influenced a lot that the work. Sometimes they get into these. <laughs> they're infiltrated. Yeah. Um, no, anyways, the, the good thing is that the Catholic Church is like kind of the kind of the the engine of this network in Peru. Um, however, in the last two years, we have seen the coordinadora starting to work more on LGBTI issues, especially on transgender issues, which is which is great. And the other thing that I would that I would like to mention is then how can we do more advocacy at the national, regional, and international level? Um, and based on our experience, and, and I'm from Costa Rica, and I, I'm a believer of the American human rights system, I think the human rights system is one of the best systems we have, I mean, it's the best system we have in, 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 in the region to try to seek justice, because we, you know it's, it's a reparatory system, and um, so the decisions of the Inter-American Court of Human Rights are binding, and uh, the jurisprudence of the court applies for all the countries that have ratified the American Convention. So for instance, if we have a case against our Argentina on LGBTI rights, um, the, the, the sentence uh, or the jurisprudence can apply to any country of the Americans that have ratified the American Convention. So I think that's important because a lot of LGBTI groups still do not know that in the region. Well, even human rights groups do not know that in the region. So um, I think that will, that will advance um, LGBTI rights. Why? Because it will force the governments to comply 
with uh, the with the sentence, and it will kind of um, you know invite them, so to speak, invite them to change legislation at the national level, so how to domesticate uh, 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 the international norms. And um, I just would like to take a minute because I, I I really think that there's been a, a debt by the LGB movement towards the transgender movement in the, in the Americas and, and in the world. I think um, the transgender movement has been uh, part of the LGBT movement because there is an other place where there can be sometimes. And it, they have been discriminated against a lot within even the LGBT movement. And I think, and I just want to mention this because I think it's great what you guys are doing. Um, especially with the trans community, recognizing the, the needs of the transgender community, because I couldn't agree more with the problems that you were mentioning, because they apply all over, all over the world, not even, not, not only in Argentina, um, and I'm not just gonna, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that. But yeah, thank you very much. And I, I would like to to finalize with, since I'm a believer of the inter-American human rights system. In in July this year, the General Assembly of the Organization of American States. Approve a resolution uh, um, that actually, you know, like, or approve this, this Inter American Convention on Discrimination and Related Forms of Intolerance in Guatemala. And it's, uh, they actually uh, approved two conventions the one on, on discrimination and related forms of intolerance, and another one on racism and racial discrimination and related forms of intolerance. Why this is important? Because it's a new tool, it's the first tool that has been ratified in, in the Americas after 20 years. So it's a new inter-American instrument that we have. But the most important thing for the LGBTI movement is that uh, includes clauses uh, on, on discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. So I think that's very important. Uh, and the other good thing is that Argentina signed that convention, both conventions actually. So now we need Argentina to ratify the convention. <laughs> uh, uh, Argentina signed the convention along with Uruguay, that, that convention along with Uruguay and uh, the one on, 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 discrimi on discrimination and related forms of intolerance and another country, I, I can't remember which one right now, um, Ecuador, that was not the other country, oh. right by that specific convention. Um, so now it's open, uh, uh, open for countries to sign the convention and then to ratify the convention. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and I would like to thank you uh, for your for your courage. Actually, I think um, I think that actually opened the door for a lot of a lot of people in Argentina and elsewhere to, to come forward after being um, or after suffering an, an attack. So thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Thanks, Carlos.